Good morning. It is 10.37 a.m. on Thursday the 25th of July and it is... Time in my beer journal! <laughs> Today in my beer journal. <laughs> So how are you? So how are you? <laughs> Hope you are well. I may cut this short because my sister-in-law is on her way over to use my sewing machine and she should be here by now and she's not, which means she'd probably turn up when I'm deep in the middle of journaling and all that lot. So there was a live last night. Did you join us? If not, why not? No excuses. Really, really no excuses. Dow was even there two or three times. Um, we basically spent the live decorating my nope next month so i was inspired by art journal girl it's nowhere near on her level she does um real real on don't touch that real full-on like decoupaging type thing and i'm i'm not up to layering just yeah i uh, just freak out at the thought of layering shit so i used my punch board to create some letters shush please I used my little punch board to create some letters out of the black and white pack that Wendy got me. Um, at first I did create letters out of all of the different types of papers, but they were too pale. So um, we decided in our infinite wisdom to use the same, because I used a different paper for each letter, and some of them really blended in a little bit too well and you couldn't see them very well. So um, we sort of discussed it and we said, let's use the same colour throughout the whole thing. And then I had this... Well, put this in the bin. Had this little... Uh, it goes outside in the outside bin. This little sticker got sent to me on a sheet of stickers from somebody. Um, if you're interested, that's what the sheet looked like. The camera and Stay Cool were also part of it. Um, it's from craftyallycat.etsy.com and it's the Chibi 7 sheet. And I love it. And I'm, I'm actually going to go and have a look and see if she's got any more because I really like this. Now, I don't know who sent this to me. It was one of my pen pals a couple of years ago when I did um, Inco Rimo. Uh, Inco. It's the pen pal one, not Rimo, is it? That's International Writing Month. Is it International Writing Month? Whichever one it is. The pen pal one where you write a letter each day. <laughs> I can't remember what it's bloody called. And um, I think it was one of those that sent it to me. So they all came off of there. And then I had a, a succulent um, die cut that somebody had also sent to me. And then these, I don't know how well you can see these. These are vellum stickers that Wendy sent me. And um, yeah, I love them. So Wendy, they're on my book, darling. And I love them. Thank you very much. So that was pretty much all we did because I... Like I said, I did out like a load of letters, six letters, and then it was like, mmm, five of them blending a little bit too well, so I had to go back and do five more. And if you actually go and watch my live, the second set I did without looking at the instructions because it's pretty self explanatory once you realise. I think the G is probably the only one I would be a bit, oh, I'm not quite sure on how to do that. The ampersand I didn't like because I was going to put an and in the middle there. And I didn't like that. And then I just used my stencil to do 2019. I did start off with using a gold, I think it was a uniball pen, you know, one of the gold highlighter type pens. But it didn't really show up. And a couple of people said, oh, I can't really see it, can't really see it. So I got my um, Ganzai thingy paints out, you know, the gold Kuretaki paints. Got those out, they're, they're linked down below. And used those just to really give it a bit of pop. And then I did go round with the gold one there, but you can't really see it on the camera. I can see it when I look at it, so I'm quite pleased with it. But yeah, so I need to buy a lot more in the way of um, like ephemera so that I can have a go at, at, at making them a little bit more sort of scrap worthy. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with today. I haven't filled this out yesterday, so I need to do that now. I wore day face cream. That's my mother. Hang on a second. Called her and she didn't answer. Now she's like, what's up? Nothing. Just checking in on your mama. So I wore day face cream. I did not wear makeup. I've done... I have done the challenges. I did them off camera. 
over the past couple of days so I did my I did the wrap last night um, I was supposed to do a dashiki but quite frankly I really don't want to so I'm not gonna um, there's my little ginger cat it actually turned into a little hidey spot that's quite cool I didn't mean to do that this is the place where I get my nails done and on the back even though it's upside down it says make Sarah bolognese that's an S cut out of with my singing machine 30 days of piece of music and we had an epic thunderstorm Monday night it was really really good um, and um, if you don't know Rook Howard died yesterday so I put Rip Rook Howard there and then I, I put in the quote from the end of Blade Runner because that was one of Stuart's favourite films. He could have, he could recite this off of his head. I can't. Um, I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Attack ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion. I've watched sea beams glitter in the dark near the Tannhauser Gate. All those memories will be lost in time, like tears in rain. Time to die. And um, I just thought, you know, I like Wickhauer. I thought he was fantastic. So yeah, so I've done challenges for the last couple of days. Um, so we'll fill all these in. Um, I have not had booze again. I'm on one can of um, Coke a day at the moment. So I'm not having right. I didn't craft other than what I did on the front of that so I need to do yesterday's word which I will do in a sec I did my night cat I forgot to do the garden because I was on live so that will need a bit of love tonight so let's quickly do today's word which I think is just going to be live isn't it because we did a live Oh, so cross my sister-in-law came to use my sewing machine now I have a pathological fear of my sewing machine I've owned the bloody thing for years and um, I've used it a handful of times literally a handful of times um, so I thought sort of it was last year or the year before I'll take it in and get it serviced you know plus the fact that I'd lent it to my mum when I got it back the foot was broken so I took it into Singer and I said you know into our local Singer shop and I said could you please fix that and while you're at it give it a service because I haven't used it for a while so they said yeah yeah fine no worries so I gave it a service and I didn't check it I didn't use it I just bought it home and put it away um, in that time I swapped the rooms around and that's the only time the sewing machine was moved was when we swapped the rooms around i have in that time managed to lose the mains plug which is quite possibly got lost when the junk room existed because there was a lot of crap in there but also um the automatic needle threader is broken um the arm that goes up and down as you sew that snags the thread at the top that does not appear when it goes up and it's yeah it's broken there's something wrong with it i don't know what's wrong so I'm like, well, when the fuck did that happen? I can't go and complain because it's been too long since it was at the shop for a service. So then I said to her, that's okay, that's okay, don't worry, don't worry. Sent down the road and said, Carl, could you bring up an sewing machine? Because my mum bought one from Audi several years ago. And that one doesn't like sewing through neoprene and lycra. Okay, and what do wrestlers wear? Neoprene and lycra. Ice cream! Ice cream, which was what we were trying Mom, to. We were trying to sew the um, sew some costumes for the wrestling show this weekend, and um, yeah, uh, it, the, the, it doesn't want to go through neoprene or, or lycra. <laughs> Mom, I can take an so, ice cream. No, could you move out the way, please? Thank you. Mom. So yes. Day, I would say my mood was again about an eight. So. At least this looks like chocolate ice cream. Can I get some more ice cream? You want more ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> Mama, I can draw so many at the bottom. Yeah, they'll all get drawn in, don't worry. Um, but Mom. my pain was quite high last night, so I'm going to put it at a seven. Down and do painting. 
Yeah, Ian Co did the bathroom, didn't he, the other day? So yeah. I need to set up for next week, but I can do that in a minute. Didn't have anything to tick off there. Um, Ian turned up, but he turned up when there was nobody here, so... And I did set up for the weekend. Because he didn't message me to say he was on his way. Like I keep telling him fucking to. Which I find really frustrating when you say to somebody, oh, just chuck me a message when you're on your way down. They go, yeah, yeah, fine. And then they don't. And it's like, well, you know, you've come all this way and I'm not here. So, you know, that makes you the fucking idiot then, doesn't it? Yeah. That's not it's hot. It's hot, it's sticky, and I don't feel very well. Oh so, 0521. Oh no. Sunrise and 9 pm is sunset. Why is it going to be sunset? Be quiet, child. Okay, so I have on my day face cream. Don't worry, this is a different colour, believe it or not. Doesn't look it, does it? <laughs> I just love when that happens. Oh, not doing a card. I've got like a weird migraine type thing going on. I feel a bit sick. Okay, so I went to bed at about 12, half 12, but Daryl woke up and it was hot and he wanted cuddles. So I slept from about one till about three. And then four till about eight, which actually wasn't too bad. And I actually sat quite well when I slept. First day, ladies and gentlemen. So I've done the loo, checked the laundry. Don't have any because it's been so hot. I've managed to get it all dry. <laughs> so I need to do the banister in the bathroom today. I've got nothing to tick off in there. So the challenge is today. Gosh, look, we're near the end of the month. I need to get next month set up as well, don't I? So I need to do. Okay, so let's get this written down. I need to. I've written label maker cards there and I don't know what that means. <laughs> label maker cards, what cards? Oh, I've written label maker cards. I'm sure that will come to me at some point. Right. Set up week 31 and set up August. Label maker cards. Oh, I know what that means. <laughs> I have several different bank accounts and my debit cards all look the same and I can never remember which card goes for which account. And I did try writing on the card in the corner in Unibal Pen and it didn't take. That's what that means, label maker, my debit card. So I need to print off labels to stick them onto my fucking card so I know which card is which. Okay, right. <laughs> you write things down going, oh, I know what that means and then two days later you look at it and go, what the fuck? What were you thinking, woman? Right, so today is the... I'm starting to feel more comfortable with doing the odd flourish here and there. So I've got my S's down and my, my Y's are coming along and I quite like my D's. Oh my, like a hub. So, hang on a second. 
and the flourishy and the teas about them looking silly. Oh, Can I do something? Can I do something? Can you do under? Just do that. What's that? That's a lightning power. That lightning power? Yeah, and that's the storm cloud to make it all turn into lightning. But if one has one like this, please can't drive in it. Oh. But, but if one has a luck it charge, you can't go in it. Oh, is that right? If one doesn't have a witch. Charge. Mm -hmm. Please can go in the storm cloud. Oh, okay. But if it's knowing, it will turn into all eyes. And then if there's a big ramp, you can jump in a in a big snow jump. Mm -hmm. You can jump over it mm. and you have to count the numbers and if there's a really really big pile you have to jump over it that's what you have to do yeah. but if blaze can't fly over you have to have wings like a dinosaur okay and what are you drawing now coloring in my numbers while you talk to me Mm. 48, 60, 50. I'm so glad I'm not counting because you'd be very off putting. You should be counting. So, <laughs> the challenges for today are. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Fishing is the word. Ah! A chocolate frog. What? Rain and mud. What? It feels really weird to be about to put rain and mud all over my page when the sun is blaring down outside. If mud is so, outside, you don't get mud. Um, I'm hoping that's not too. So I forgot. Do you know? I forget that that is there now. That dermal. And this morning, I washed my face and I rubbed it with a towel and caught it, and I was like, <laughs> it hurt. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get this sketched up and then I will probably time lapse through it a bit later on and um, yeah, get this uploaded and um, and all that lot. So I shall time lapse it a bit later and I'll put that in here and then um, I'll do my goodbye here. bits. Are you going to come over here and say goodbye? Oh my God, this yeah, come over here then. So there you go, there's a welly stuck in the mud, a chalky frog and some rain. <laughs> I knew it was going to pull the writing through. This is why I don't journal on the other side until I've finished because it has pulled. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, buns, hang huh? on, hang on, hang on, we're not finished yet. So thank you so much for joining us today. We've enjoyed it, haven't we? Yeah. Put yeah. your thumbs up. Put your thumbs up. What next? What next? Comments. Come on. We love comments. Leave us a comment because we love comments. Yeah. Click the bell. Click the book. Click the book. And then click the bell. Goes down. Click the book and you'll be subscribed. And then if you hit the bell, you'll be notified when I upload new content. When we upload new content. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. We love each and every one of you. Hey, don't forget.